A big challenge for me as an artist is when my something I plan out doesn't really go the way I expect it to. I start with a an idea that I get really attached to and as I'm working through making it, I realize it's not going to work and I kind of have to force myself to break that mold that I've set up and come up with something different. And the result of it is very rewarding, you know, seeing how different your artwork turns out from whenever you first started and the completed version. I don't really have a specific medium. I experiment a lot with different things, non-conventional mediums, regular mediums, painting, sometimes found objects, all kinds of stuff. I can't narrow it down because I don't really have a specific niche that I, niche that I fit into currently, so I'm still exploring as an artist. Yeah. The reason why I make art is because a lot of times I have a lot of issues communicating verbally certain ideas that I have about certain situations, the things that I interpret from the world, and I want the viewer to come up and see like, oh, well, that's what that person was thinking. And I realize a lot of times how a viewer interprets my art isn't exactly how I plan them to, and I think that's actually a very helpful perspective to get on something because I could say, well, oh, this thing that I made obviously represents this and this going on in my life, but another person can bring their own story to it and say, oh, well, this kind of reminds me of this time, so I think I can connect with this person because they had this going on in their life.